The Power of Coaching by Donna Carlin Page 7 Introduction So many people ask me what coaching really is. There is no one definition of coaching. We bring our unique talents and strengths to the table, just as our clients do. I can describe coaching as Having a partner to help you focus, align, shift and evolve but with no judgment. It's someone who is your back, sees your magnificence especially when you're not paying attention to it. It's someone to brainstorm ideas and concepts with, test the waters with, and share your dreams with and one who can help you move towards whatever those dreams are. That's just the tip of the iceberg. I believe the best part of coaching is that it's a collaborative, co-creative process that can shift on a dime depending on what's happening in my client's life. I go with the flow of what the client is living at any point in time and hold confidence that my client can do it, the it being defined and identified by the one being coached. In an organizational setting, a coach can support individual clients, teams, the organization's leadership, and help support a change initiative. A coach can support organization transformation and, all in all, help shift the culture of an organization to a more appreciative stance. I coach global leaders and their teams and see the powerful impact coaching brings to individuals and their organizations. Many organizations have a coaching component to their leadership programs and have a cadre of coaches to draw from. There are pros and cons to partnering with an internal coach versus external practitioner. I believe it begins with a basic understanding of who the client is, individual or organization, and what the desired outcomes are for the coaching intervention. This can happen in a few ways. You can be trained as a professional coach, and leave your current job to embark on a new career in coaching. You can be trained in the coaching competencies and become an internal coach within your current organization, or another one, or you can use the coaching competencies in your everyday work to strengthen your management skills and leadership style. When I teach, one of the first questions I'm asked by those who are working full-time for a company or organization is, Should I leave my job and go out on my own? This book will explore the benefits and drawbacks of all these scenarios and considerations to keep in mind when making that decision. To leave or not to leave, your current job, that is the question.